do I ask you to fuck about? Just leave me the fuck alone if you're not gonna do it. Period. If you're not gonna do it, just leave me the fuck alone. <sighs> I don't wanna talk. I'm zoning on here to Joe for a minute. You hear me? While I take me a little ride home. <sighs> I was going back with my mama. I actually took my daddy truck. I'm in my daddy truck right now. But I think I want to go home. I had took my daddy truck because I was going back by my mama because I had a show tonight, baby, but the show was canceled. So I might just go straight home. And just go and get my car tomorrow or Friday. Because I really don't have nowhere to go tomorrow. And I don't think they're my. They have a key to my house, my car. And I just don't want to put them in my house going back and forth to Orleans on my daddy truck. I said I'm my car. So I took my daddy truck. But now, I was going to go back by my mama. But I think I'm going to go back to Baton Rouge. I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't, because I don't feel like going to the country tonight. So I've seen, I don't know if this is actual or factual, but I've seen that Biden may be up to 264. Is that is that what's happening? Are y'all seeing the same thing? Don't change your daddy talk radio station. Oh, girl, and listen. Hold up, how about this? Look. To offer customized treatments, including crowd-breaking therapies, only available here. What will we do in the pursuit of making cancer his... Straight talk radio, bitch. <laughs> Girl, you, I love you, girl. Says, I love you. Because <laughs> this nigga had it on talk radio for real, bitch. I'm going to get my mama across on a Friday, so he is up. Okay, good, good, that's good. Factual as of now, all right, that's good, that's good, good, good. So we're four electoral college votes away. Six, excuse me, so Nevada come through, or we just need one state to come through. I saw 264 somewhere. Biden needs seven electoral votes. Too far through. Oh, I'm seeing too much. <laughs> she said, don't change my daddy talk radio station. Girl, he love that talk radio, girl. Girl, he blows my high with that girl. <laughs> girl, that nigga know he could listen to some fucking talk radio, bitch. Girl, that drunk look. <laughs> that nigga know he could listen to some, some fucking talk radio, bitch. It's 263, actually. That's what I thought. Arizona or Nevada. Nevada, fingers crossed, and it's a wrap. He should win Michigan and shit now. It was 264, actually. I thought it was 264. Wisconsin, he won Wisconsin already. I need to listen to this fucking talk radio, bitch. Flip my motherfucking on. See what the fuck going on, girl. Michigan and Wisconsin came through for the bitches, girl. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, Georgia still have their voting tonight. Good. God has this one. 264. Yeah. Florida's stupid as fuck. So is Louisiana. Don't feel bad, Florida. Louisiana, we dumb too, girl. You see my post that boy? Oh, you must be JD. This is about a birthday system. This must be your birthday. <laughs> come on, sister. Come to the light. Come to the light, bitch. Come to the light, ho. This must be your birthday. Oh, this is your birthday. Nope. Bye. And there you go. And there you go. I didn't see it, and now you're out of here. Hi. Bye bye. Goodbye. Where y'all getting 264 from? Look at CNN. CNN was a little late. I saw 264. Here's what Arizona's official. It's 264 because he won Michigan. Michigan and Wisconsin. We knew he was getting Louisiana. Oh, yeah, we knew Trump was going to get Louisiana. Don't feel bad. So, my Florida tip is y'all not stupid, sister. The holes in the state with a stupid bitch. <laughs> Why your topic is always about super? Who is super? I haven't talked about super. Now, see, hold on, hold on. Monique KP? Girl, for real, that's what you say, sister? Look at this first, the Monique KP. Monique underscore KP. Why your topic is always about super? Bitch, I haven't talked about super in a month, and I'm not going to talk about super. What did you talk about? I'm a super out there living her best life. I'm happy for her. She needs to go. I have not talked about super on, for over a month on purpose. What did you talk about? So I said, why your topic is always about super? 
my soup, my topic is never about super. And I haven't talked about super in a month. It's since the beginning of October. What the fuck did you talk about? You come up to the light, sister. You getting blocked. You get black, you don't come to the light. You let you know. Somebody said, why are you talking about always about super? Girl, when? Who? When is my topic about super? Oh, girl, this is a trap out of here. You just go ahead and follow me. My topic is never about super. I haven't talked about that girl in over a month. I forgot that girl is to let her live her life. I'm doing me. Girl, I'm, I'm, I'm really just over it. I was just really over her. Yeah, she blocked. I haven't talked about that girl in over a month, girl. In over a month. We talk about Biden, bitch. I'm driving home trying to see what the fuck happened. This girl, it's like, for real, girl, you a month late, girl. You should have asked that like eight, six months ago, bitch. I don't know who did that, Gemini, and we're going to unblock you, I promise you. Trump only has 47,000 vote lead in Georgia instead of shrinking. I need to get... <laughs> Book them block. Fuck Ohio. <laughs> they say fuck Ohio. Election only. <laughs> girl, they say fuck Ohio, girl. Yes, fuck Ohio, girl. Even though one of my, even this boy I like it. <laughs> this, this dude I like weekends in Ohio. I can't say fuck Ohio. Where's my boyfriend? He filed a lawsuit everywhere. Fuck Trump. What's going on, best? Election baby, you talking about I'm not here over here the topic over super. What the fuck is for me? Not the topic over here. The fuck? I'm talking about that girl in a in month, literally. I'm not talking about like in real. I'm over her life. I'm over what she got going. Oh, she's so nobody to me. It's not even funny. Like I got better things to worry about, girl. <laughs> so I, you know what? I'm I, from y'all. Just listen. This is real talk. I'm really just in my mind. I'm bearing a hand to. She just needs to go on and live her best life. Cause I'm not even discussing her no more. I'm so over her, girl. I'm just over her, girl. I'm over her like I'm over 2020. Fuck Trump and all this Trumpy buttons, okay? Dude, who is people exactly? Who is people, girl? Who? Not the crowd, girl. Now that two people we saw it, man. We need to go. Man, I want you to get us about seven electoral votes, bitch. <laughs> just go out on the electoral college, nigga, girl. So, bitch, give us some votes, bitch. Girl, they're gonna be. They're gonna be evil, girl, but fuck them, girl. Girl, fuck them. Fuck the Trump and Trump. Trump and them. Whatever she said, whatever she said. We need to get them seven, bitch. I'm sucking dick for seven electoral votes. Anybody? Some electoral votes, bitch, I'll suck your dick from. It is what it is. Like, we, gotta, <laughs> we gotta do this. You don't got to shake it. I'll still stand until it's Chris that doing it. Oh, <laughs> she does. She really does. <laughs> Destroys her. Why is the place over there? Take the L, not come with her. Okay. Is it raining? No. I'm in my dad's truck crossing the bridge, so that's what you're getting. I gotta stop this game, bitch. Girl, how you have no, never have no gas in this truck, girl? Fuck. Fuck. Hey, my mama crossbow. I just wish the work could get one accord. It's so much separation for me. Fuck. I feel the same way, sister. There was a pistol truck outside the White House that said his wife leaving now. <laughs> I want Georgia. We lost Texas. Yeah, Texas. I don't understand why we got to wait until tomorrow for the vote. They're just trying to call me sure. You know the Trump and the Trump, Trump the Trump the dumpers don't like to take the L, so. We took the L in big term, Barbara. Trump says he's not leaving. We need to throw you on your ass for me. If he's that high. Oh, let me say something. Don't trip because Congress takes an oath to uphold the Constitution. And even though he's the commander in chief of the armed forces, Congress is, Congress is the only person that's to declare that, like, you know, when it, like, when it, if he, if there will be a congressional act and he's going to get up out of that office, just in the military, like, the Secret Service won't even acknowledge him the vote if, if, when Congress passes, like, if Congress had to step in. Like, he would never even, they would never even, they would, like, forcefully 
forced him out of office. Like his power ends during the, 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 the transfer of power. He's technically the president until January 20th or 21st. But yeah, they're not gonna um they won't take his order. Trust me. So we've always had a peaceful transfer of power. But don't trip. If we had to have a non-peaceful transfer of power, it's like there was it's like they wouldn't listen to him. His supporters might listen to him, but the people that's hired to work for the government, like the secret service will no longer protect him. The Secretary of Defense, they wouldn't answer to him anymore. The president don't just meet at the White House. The president he's the president where he at. Like for example, um they say Air Force One, Air Force Two, those are Marine One and Marine Two, those are just the planes that he's on. Like, if he's not on the plane, it's not Air Force One. It's only Air Force One if he's on it. So the president is the president anywhere he wants to be. There's, there's really little, real live acts of Congress for that. So there's no such thing. He's getting about it. They can get mad all they want. And he can stay in there all he want. But January 20th, he can, he can, it's really you can leave peacefully about four. These people will be having an act of Congress where the army will come in and escort him directly the fuck out. Like, and they won't listen to him. Like, basically, like, the people he's saying, like, the security secret service and all the bodyguards, the people that listen to him, they, 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 they won't, they, they don't take an oath to the president. They take an oath to the Constitution. Understand the difference. He takes to uphold the laws of the Constitution. That's what you take an oath to. And the Constitution outlines that the president is the commander in chief. So the president only have power via the Constitution. So by them people, the Secret Service, the Army, the Congress, everybody that takes the oath to uphold the Constitution, they have no, they're not going to listen to what he's saying. Because the Constitution don't, is, don't t- says that his, his power expires on this day and the power goes to somebody else, Joe Biden. The man, stop counting votes. Who would want somebody that votes not to be counted? Like, bitch, I voted. Bitch, I want my vote counted. What the fuck you mean? I voted, I'm on my vote, I voted the day of. But you know, if I did the mail and or whatever, I would want my vote counted, bitch. My voice needs to be heard. It's the voice of the people. There's people in the government trying to stop the voice of the people. All y'all forgetting what the government is for. Republicans are mad, bitch. You cannot get mad. This is the voice of the people. You got to get the people wrong. You you take an oath to the Constitution. The Constitution is for the people, by the people. That's what it says. For the people, by the people. And they're losing sight of that. It's not what you want. Take your lick. Come with a better platform. Come with a better candidate. Come with better, better things. Do your job better. And then the people will elect you a hundred times. But if you don't, the people are going to, you don't have, you do not have voter suppression and stuff like that. You're losing sight of what you're doing. It's for, it's for the people. You forgot that? Come on. Don't do that. Don't lose sight of your job. You are supposed to be a governing... For, listen, this is what happens so many times in so many things. This is why we don't have... Listen, the American Revolution happened because... Listen, we have a country right now because King George and them was like, fuck them over there. I'm not going to do what they say or what they need or I don't care. He forgot about the people, and we revolted, and we became a whole new country. How many times Napoleon got came into power because the, the, the people who led forgot their job? You're for the people. You're not for yourself anymore. You're not for power. So the prayer I'm trying to make is this. You do this. You do something stupid, or you do something crazy, the people will revolt. If you did your job right, the people would have let you in. So why are you trying to suppress the... Instead of trying to suppress the vote of some people, how about trying to do the job of the people so that they would want to elect you? You feel me? 
if you if you do the job of the people, they will give you their vote. You wouldn't have to try to finagle and worry about voter suppression and stuff. Everybody will vote for you if you do the job of the people. I'm not seeing cash, I'm not doing this. I'm about to hold up. So I don't know. Headache. I'm gonna be five. I'm gonna call you back. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. My purple, I have messed up. How you doing? What's going on? For my purple, I have messed up. Girl, people just say anything, girl. Hey, how you doing? Who's better, girl? Goody? Oh, stand back. Pam really kept my family at eight.
I'm just gonna put it this way. Is there any way Trump could come up fast? If Biden don't get no more electoral votes, he'd come up real fast. Fuck. Is he? I want to come too. Is this? If Trump fucking on. Thank you. You can keep the third thing because you're going to change it. Eh? Okay. You got change? No, I just wonder if you had changed it. Your sign was lying, girl. <laughs> the sign says you had no change. What do you got? Listen, let me tell you something. He come up fast. If Biden don't get no more electoral votes. No more. If he's stuck, stuck at 264, Trump could come up because he's going to get the rest of it. <laughs> so we got to, ain't about coming up. It's not a race. <laughs> it's a road, bitch. It's a definite marathon, bitch. Now, this is another reason I love my daddy truck. That bitch don't take no gas, bitch. That bitch was on damn near E, bitch. 19 hours to that hole. Girl, that's my car don't even do that, bitch. And I drive a Honda, Hyundai, bitch. It's gonna take twenty something out of it. He go down kind of fast, though, I guess. Hold on. I'm coming. <clears throat> All right. Well, on the road again. You can't believe we're on the road again. Where my phone? Yeah, sister, my fucking head is killing me, bitch. I took got me a goodies, bitch. Hold on, put my seatbelt on. Oh, shit. Right, what I don't like about my daddy, huh? Where my fat ass. It's too, really too fat to be in this bitch. You take one bitch. One. Somebody say they both races. Biden and the races, Mo. Trump got you believing that? With the planet plane? I ain't eating nothing, faggot. <laughs> I'm taking a BC5. What's your punk ass? You you one of the Georgia people that voted for Trump, sissy. Not eat nothing, ho. I'm taking a BC pile. I'm not hungry. My head hurt. I'm not fucking eating, bitch. Hello? Hey, handsome. What's up? I don't know what you're talking about, but I always wanted to just let you know that I love you. I like what you're doing. You're Thank a strong you so ass man. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. Where are you calling from? I'm from Atlanta. All right, ATL. Did you go vote? Yeah, I voted. Who you voted for? Hell, I wrote my name in the goddamn president uh, thing. You really did? I really did. Sister, let me tell you something. Did you have a chance to win? Hmm? Did you have a chance to win it? No, I ain't had no chance at winning, but still, I ain't like either one of them crackers. So listen, you voted for Trump then. That was a vote for Trump. 
because them white folks that don't like either one of them, they're going to go and they're going to go vote for the one that do the least for us. So every time you don't vote, it's like you voting for Trump because at least the thing you could have did was cancel out one of their votes. Who do you like the least? What y'all got, what people got to realize, I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying, but I'm just on a different level. Both of them motherfuckers were too old <coughs> to be running. Both of them was born in the fucking 40s. Neither one of them crackers give a fuck about black people. I agree, with you. I agree with you a thousand percent. I, I cannot dispute that. But what I'm saying is, okay, who, which one of you like the least? I don't know. I don't know, okay. cause I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I think Trump did a lot for us. I don't honestly. Right. I feel like I didn't. I don't know if Biden was gonna be strong enough, and That's we go got, We go have to see. That's fair. Who? Did, what did you think? Can I ask you what it is that you think? You said a lot. What did you think that Trump did for us? That was a lot. If you know my man, he did right. a lot for uh for felons for one. Like what? He got a lot of people that was uh, wrongfully convicted out of jail. Trump did that. Who are those people? Yes, when, when uh, Kim Kardashian was speaking with them uh, people, I can't remember the names verbatim, but whatever she was talking about it, he helped them get out of jail. That's Kim Kardashian. That's not necessarily Trump. Who is? What did Trump do? What did Biden do, though? What didn't he do? He wasn't the president. We talking about what? <laughs> Biden was the president, so he didn't Biden, have a chance. Biden didn't have a chance. Biden, Biden, so your, Biden. your statement your statement was that you believe that Trump did a lot for black people. I'm trying to figure out what those things are. I, I ain't say he did a lot for black people. What I'm saying is that he he's not just not doing stuff for black people, period. Okay, what is he doing? I'm like I'm I'm, I'm open all ears. And, and what do y'all think Biden go do? Like I see everybody no, in the comments. No man, don't pay attention to that. Don't, don't take attention to him. I miss talk to me. I'm asking you what did Trump you made a statement. Trump did something or enough or a lot or a little for black people. I'm trying to figure out what he was. Well, I'm a look. I'm middle class. Like I'm not. I'm not a poor bitch. Like I, I got my money out. I work at the post office. I was in the uh, military. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm a veteran. I got. I'm not a broke bitch. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't got as much money as you per se. I don't but know, I'm broke too. I'm, right now, I'm driving my daddy's <laughs> truck. Sister, I'm driving my daddy's truck. It's an old truck. And the reason I'm driving my truck is I don't want to put miles on a lease I'm in. <laughs> and that I'm over the miles on, and so I don't want to put more miles on my car. Really, to be honest with you. So you know, I'm not rich by a long shot. Joe, you got more money than me. I know. Post office, good job, good benefits. Uh, you remember y'all used to get that overtime a lot in the post office? They stopped that out. No. Yeah, they did actually. For a little while, they stopped it. There was no overtime. In the not in Georgia. Not in my plant. Okay, but some people not plant. There plant. was some of you, some of your fellow post office workers are not even able to get overtime for a while. They they reinstated your right. But they did stop it. Trump did that. But I'm trying to figure out what it is that he did for for us black people that you're talking about. What has Biden done for black people? I, Man, I, I hear what you're saying. I never said I never said Biden did a bitch ass thing for black people. But Biden I, was was not even the president, first of all. And second of all, I'm gonna tell you what Biden did for black people. You ready? You got a daughter? Mm-hmm. See, listen, Biden nominated the first black female major party candidate for vice president. By him nominating her, that's history in itself. So your daughter can see that black women can have a position of power at some point. This is the highest level a black woman has ever been in, in this United States government if she's elected and, and, and went. The highest level. There's been no level higher. And, so and I'm trying to say, And so your daughter gets to see a black woman of power to say, well, damn, if Kamala could do it, I could do anything. So that's a, that's a lot for black people. They're allowing black people to see, like, basically, we can do black women to see, basically, look, we could be in a position of power and not be, hey, sister, girlfriend at the job. We could actually be in a position that runs things and makes differences. And so if he is old, then the next part about that is you should have voted for him because he's going to, if he is old, you think he's a, a step away from the coffin to where the next person in line is a black woman. So what did he do for black people? He allowed black women to he allowed black women, young black girls, my daughter, your daughter, my niece, your daughter, which is my niece, and my daughter, which is your niece by law, because it's taking community, and it's mostly a community, and your nieces and nephews in his comments. So that's what he did. And if that's not enough for you, I'm trying to figure out what it is. But you said when you came on here that Trump did for black people, and I'm trying and to figure I, out what that is. 
I agree. I agree what you're saying. Uh, he got the first black woman that can be the vice president. But what y'all fail to realize is that when she was running for president, her damn self, she called Biden a racist. Gotcha. That's how. That's that's why I'm saying all this shit is she, bullshit. She did not call Biden. She didn't call Biden a racist. She asked a question, and that was not necessarily directed toward Biden. It was directed to Biden, Bernie Sanders, and that question is what you're basically saying is that how the Democrats take for granted the black vote. She brought attention to that. Yes. She's not called him a racist. But at the same time, I'm trying yes. to figure out, you're, 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 we cannot genuate from what you said. When you came on here, you said you voted for yourself. I said, well, that's basically a vote for Trump. But at the same time, you said, well, I don't like neither one of them. I was like, you're right. I said, which one you least like? He was like, well, honestly, I feel like Trump okay, because I'm a, a, and then you stated that he's done a lot for black people. You said, again, you regurgitated that and said he didn't do a lot. But you did say, he did something for black people, and I'm still trying to figure out from you, ma'am, and I've been trying to figure out for 10 minutes, what has he done for black people? You've tried to say, well, what have Biden done? I told you what Biden done. That wasn't enough for you. You just asked me what this is and what that is. I'm trying to figure out what in your mind has Trump done for you, the black woman. At the end of the day, I'm going to do what's best for me and my family. I'm not a what Republican nor a Democrat. I'm going to listen to so, both parties because, so if, listen, hear so me out, hear both, me out. Hear me out. I was in the military. Democrats don't okay. believe in a strong military. So when I was in the military under Obama administration, okay. we got tax cuts. Like we wasn't making gotcha. raises and stuff like that. But gotcha. whenever a Republican's in, even with Bush, even with Bush, when he was in, I got so many goddamn uh, more benefits. I got so much uh, 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 more money for me and my family to help my family. So that's why I'm saying at the end of the day, for gotcha. me, I don't care how anybody vote. Because I, our ancestors did not die for us to just vote Democrat. Our I ancestors do. died for us to be able to vote for Republican, vote for Democrat, or not vote at all if that's their motherfucking I right. Right, no, they, our ancestors do right not to, die. Okay. Whatever you want to do Hold is on. what you got to do. Gotcha. So listen, your ancestors want you to vote. They went through hell and high water for you to have that ability. They want you to vote. Whether they want you to vote Democrat or Republican is up for subjugation. But they want you to vote. They didn't get beat. They didn't get bit by dog, holes down, whipped and chained for you not to go vote. They did that. They fought and marched and everything for you to be able to have a right to vote so you can vote and exercise that right. Not for you to sit on your ass on election day for a day off. That's number one. Let's go back to the military thing. Hold up, hold up. I'll let you talk. Listen to me. So the military thing, I understand. Democrats want a weaker military, but they also, you know, other Democrats, we're in lesser wars. So with those benefits come risk. Every Republican president outside of this one has started a war. Back from, from this bush to the other bush, to the, every one of them has had a Vietnam, a Vietnam, every one of them has started a war, which kills people. So with those benefits come more risk. The risk that you get called in, the risk that you get drafted, the risk that you get sent over there. So even though you're saying you got more benefits during Republican times, you also got more risk. There was a risk that they could call your number and you have to go to motherfucking Kuwait some fucking well, find a way that you have no, no business in. So at, the same, so at the same time, yes, take less of benefits, but take less of benefits sitting your ass over here in the military collecting that check instead of going over there in the Kuwait or somewhere. So don't say the Republicans are so wonderful because they give you more benefits. Of course they have to give you more benefits because they're starting more fucking wars for nothing. The point that I'm trying to make that, is both of them are bullshit. The They're both bullshit. The we make too much. As a middle class, do what's the best for your family. You're telling me you're a black family, and the best I'm for your family. A, I'm a middle was, class. I'm a middle class a middle family. Class I'm black, black, but I'm middle class. A middle class black family. The best thing for you to do as a middle class black family would be to stay here. And black Democrats cater to broke people. They period. Can, they can I make too much. I can't get no. I can't get no Medicaid. I can't get no food stamps. I can't get none of the government assistance that they are allowing but, uh, but people that ain't got no get, goddamn money you get. Can't get. You can't get the benefits, but guess what, sister? Under the Republican <laughs> plan, you pay for it. You pay for it. Under uh, the Democrat, the, the under middle, Democrat, listen, under the Democrat plan, the rich people pay for it. That's why they don't like it. They have to pay for it. There's gonna, this is a society with everybody. You're go, there's, there's no way you're going to get out with social services such as welfare, food stamps, Medicaid, and stuff like that. Under the Democratic plan, the wealthiest 1% pay for it. They are taxed more than you as the middle class. Under the Republican plan, everybody's taxed the fucking same. 
So you're actually going to pay, you're going to, you as a middle class black woman are hurting more as a Republican than you would as a Democrat. Because in a what? Democrat plan, the less, you say more taxes, is more taxes on the rich people. As a, unless you're making $400,000 a year, I don't know what your payment is, I don't know what your household making, but if you don't put $400,000 a year on the taxes, you are good. All I want black people to realize is just look at both sides. Just don't go off We're what our parents or our grandparents told us. I'm looking at both sides and I'm looking at your side, sister, and I still have yet to, I've been on this live with you at least 15 to 20 minutes, and I have still yet to hear what, what Donald Trump has done. Have, right have you always voted Democrat? No. Just blindly. Nope. You just all, automatically go with Democrat. No. When I registered to vote for the first time in my life, I registered as a Republican. You're lying. Me, I have. I ain't well, saying that you a lot, but I'm, that's all. I'm, that's the only thing that I'm trying to make. That's I don't care what the hell. I don't care how nobody vote, but I, I, I was, don't I, I bash like, people. Let vote. let people vote how they motherfucking want to vote. So Period. you so you voting for yourself was the best part thing that you can do for your family. Is what you're saying? I I voted for my senators and my congressmen because I got to look at the thing locally. The president is all the way up at there at the top. Right, right, All the right. way at the goddamn top. Like, I mean, I'm not going to, I don't know them people. I'm not going to see that motherfucker. But so them congressmen, I can run into John Lewis. I'm from Georgia, by the way. I don't, I can run into John Lewis that just died. I can run into all these other congressmen that's in my goddamn state and in my if, city. If them the people into, that I if, care about. John, John Lewis is in heaven. If you can run into him, sister, you, you, you see dead but people. You know what I'm saying. I'm not trying to argue with you. Like, I'm just trying to have intellectual dialogue. I'm not trying to I argue with that. you and all that. that other shit. Like, oh, come but on I'm, now. Let's just have... I'm, I, I, you stated something, sister. I still want to go back to that question because I never got an answer. And I really would love to know because if you tell me something and I know it, I swear to God, I'm going to go be a Trump supporter myself. So what has he done for black people? It ain't about being a Trump supporter. It's, it, w w what I'm trying to make everybody realize is that you can't. You don't have to blindly follow a Democratic oh. Party nope. just don't. because that's the way that Black people was raised to think. Right, but that's I all will, I'm saying. I will, I'm not saying I don't give a fuck. You ain't gotta like Trump. I, you I, ain't I, gotta like whoever you don't want to like. That's your I, right. Right. That's and the point I'm trying to make is our ancestors died for us to have the right to vote for who the fuck we want to vote right. to. Vote right. for or not vote at all. So you wanted to vote for yourself, and you have that right, and you exercise that right, and I'm proud of you for exercising your right. However, you also stated that you voted for yourself because you don't like either one of them, and you said that Trump did something for black people, which in essence is what you did. So what I'm trying to figure out is what have you done? And I still have, and you said it's not about that, but it is about that. If that's what you say, your reason not vote for Biden is because you refused to vote for Biden, knowing that he didn't do nothing for black people. And so I want to know what Trump has done. As you said, he has done. <laughs> what is One thing, Please, honestly, I, in my opinion, I believe that Trump, he's real. That's, that's the best thing that I like about him. Even though he on that bullshit, I'd rather deal with a cracker that honestly say that they don't fuck with me than deal with a cracker that pretend to fuck with me. Okay, gotcha. All right, so listen, you wasted the vote. Let me see why you wasted the vote. <laughs> because at the same time as you're a middle class black woman, there was a law that Obama instituted uh, under HUD, which allowed most housing developments, the suburbs, as you call them, uh, and these developments, people building these suburbs and suburban type areas, they received government funding to develop. Okay? And so because they received the government funding to develop, uh, Obama instituted a law that said that. You cannot keep black people out these developments in order to get this federal funding. Trump said, you know what? Fuck that. I'm going to save your suburbs, and I'm going to repeal that. Now, these private developments that receive government funding can say, you know what? We're going to do our best to make sure black people don't get into the suburbs. And that way, or as they say, low income, get into the suburbs so that it can stay away from them, and that's cool. Now, that's, that's what Trump what, said? That's what Trump did. That's what Trump did. He repealed he, because the, the act that Obama passed was an executive order. And by Trump being the president, he could repeal the executive order. It wasn't an act of Congress. So that same act, Trump said, forget about it. Forget about it. I'm going to save your suburbs. And so by him repealing that, 
a developer can develop, you, you middle class black person, and don't have to let your black ass in and still receive government funds. The private developments, since you want to know what he's done for black people. Let's talk about what else he's done for black people. It's a lot of black. Since you said he did, hold up, since you said he did it's something. A lot. It's a lot of black people with money. I stay in Atlanta, Shaky. You yeah, come and, to Atlanta. And, and guess what? You and, come if I make a and if I make a private development and I say, you know what, I, a private development now, and I make a thing and I say, you know what, I want the government funding so I can do this to develop this land, and they give me the government funding, and I say, you know what, I want your black ass in there, guess what? I don't, you can't go complain to the government and get my government funding taken away. You can't do it. Fuck you. Your black ass ain't come middle class black bitch. That's what I would say. No, it's, no, no, I'm not calling you that. I'm not calling you that. I'm saying what the white people would say. A lot of black people got money, though. This yeah, and, they, and guess what? Their black ass, no matter how much money they got, will never get into them fucking suburbs if the white people don't want them in. And the white people will still get the government funding thanks to your president, Trump. Next part about that, what he did. Money talk people. bullshit, wow. Yeah, money talk bullshit, wow. Unless your black ass, they don't want your black ass in their fucking suburbs, and you will not go. <laughs> it is what the fuck it is. That is the law. Next part about it. The next part about that is this. You said Trump did something for the criminal justice reform. Let's not forget, Trump took out a five-page, full-page ad in the New York Times, one of the, the world's most distinguished publications that talked of, and that called for the, the killing of five innocent black men without trial, without anything. He said, I hate these people, and I wish they were hanged. Them five innocent black men, the Central Park Five, Trump, Donald Trump spearheaded, spearheaded the public demonization of these five innocent, completely innocent black men. Trump spearheaded the demonization of them to where the jury and it put pressure on the prosecution, it put pressure on the, on, on, on the DA, it put pressure on the jury and said these people should hang and have had a hand in the public demonization of five innocent black men. So you want to talk about when he does some criminal justice reform? Let's dig into it, sis. Well, sis, we gonna hold see up. what happened. We hold gold 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 gonna see how much. We gonna see how much change. Since you tell me all that Trump did for black people, allow me to tell you what Trump when ain't did. Cry. for Let me tell you what Trump ain't did for L black people. You want to just argue with me on your? No, 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 no. Sister, you can, you can, you can hang up. I'm gonna say what I gotta say anyway. It's not arguing. I know you gonna say what you gotta say, and I'm gonna say what I gotta say. I it's no you, disrespect. And, and, like, we and having I'm a... You, and I'm letting you say what you got to say when you got to say. It's my turn right now. I don't want to argue with you. Uh, difference of opinion. Why can't we not have difference of opinion and still be cool? Like, because, why? Your, because, because your opinion is not based on anything factual. Your opinion is just based on opinion. My opinion has been garnered, but you thinking I'm just... Because my grandma was a Democrat, I got to be a Democrat. No, I'm telling you with facts. And this is why I don't support Trump. So this is facts. Let's talk about this. Since you talk about what he's done for black people. Trump is a realtor. Trump has real estate. Trump has gone on a record to say he does not want black, lazy black people in his development, as well as also saying he does not want the lazy black people working on building his housing developments and stuff. He don't let, he's been sued 17 times because he refuses to rent things to black people. This is what he's done for black people. I'm just letting you know what's happening. The platinum plan was the biggest piece of bullshit I ever saw in my life. The platinum, why would you call it a platinum plan anyway? What are you thinking about? Black people like platinum, platinum cheap, gold cheap? That's a slap in the face. Trump, in his administration, did you know how many black people in Trump administration? I'm just what? listening to you, honey. President Obama had a, a record 39%, that's almost half, of black people in his administration. You know how many people in, in Trump administration that are black? One person, which is less than 1%. One. One. He has one single person to end his administration that's black. One, Dr. Ben Carson, who's a fucking dummy anyway. And then you put a doctor, a distinguished physician, on the HUD on housing and urban development. What the fuck? Why is he not the Surgeon General or anybody like in that, in that image? So I'm trying to figure out what has Trump done for these black people, yet, and all I've seen is things he's done against black people. He's subjugated black people to a lot of things. He's done nothing for criminal justice reform, but but let one lady out and swear to God he's done for nothing for criminal Let's not forget the wall he wants to build for our Latino brothers and sisters. Let's not let's not forget he's called Muslims. Muslims, all Muslims are terrorists in his eyes. That's a, that's your right to be freedom of religion. If you want to be a Muslim, yes, you're right. I cannot tell you to not be a Muslim. That's your right. Let's not forget there are four black. Black women of color in Congress that Trump told go back to their country, just even though their country is America. 
I'm trying to figure out what the hell has this dumb bitch done for, for, for black people and that you're claiming. And I still can't find one thing. I can send you a billion things he's done against them. A black man sitting in the, in the in, in, they had one of his architects that one is his, his top architect of, of, of a female this, white woman. Hold on, I ain't got no goddamn mold in my goddamn uh goddamn uh ceiling. You got me motherfucking fucked up. That's I ain't got no mold in my goddamn uh any goddamn thing, period. Don't pay attention to coming. But listen, whoever the fuck the is, is the one. I ain't got no mold, no goddamn well. Yeah. So my next, my next part about that, they don't want to hit my, ne my next part about that is this. There was a, a black man that was coming here. There was a black man, a black architect, a smart black architect who was coming to get a job working for the Trump organization under his chief architect. He was sitting in the waiting room waiting to have his interview. And Trump passed by and saw a black man sitting in the waiting room. And he told the chief officer, don't ever let that happen again. I never want to see a black person sitting in the waiting room. Now I'm the worst. I'm the racist. By. I'm racist. How the fuck I'm racist? You see how black I am? I've been discriminated against my whole goddamn life. Because I was too dark enough. I wasn't, I was too dark. I'm Just sorry. Don't talk, talk to me about no being goddamn racist. I'm sorry that happened to you. Period. I got two I, black ass kids. I'm like sorry. these motherfuckers in the comments, they can kiss my motherfucking ass. Cause they don't know me for a can of motherfucking paint. Yeah, don't pay attention to comments. I'm sorry that happened to you. But I'm still trying to figure out since the one question and one question only. I really they, they, they can go in. They can go in, but I'm going to talk shit back. They got me all the way motherfucking fucked up on this I goddamn swear, I'm the wrong wanted, bitch. As a black they woman with, with, with... Let me with, see all y'all fake ass pages. Y'all broke ass bitches. As a black woman with black kids, what has this man done for you? I just want to know. He has four years to do it. Get, I'm what, straight what? regardless, Shaky. No matter if it's a Democrat in office, no matter if a Republican in office, gotcha. because I'm a motherfucking go getter. Period. I respect that. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I mean, shit. It don't matter. Republicans go do shit that you don't like. Democrats go do shit that you don't like. Either way, my right. whole thing is that goddamn black people try to bully. Like in these goddamn comments, they try to bully motherfuckers to make them uh, vote the way that they want them to motherfucking vote. And that ain't how to, that ain't what our ancestors died for. My ancestors didn't die for me to just vote for a, a Democrat because black people was Republicans before they was goddamn Democrats. Um, no, you right. They were Republicans first. Right. Do your motherfucking history. Right. I agree. You're 100% right. Nobody can take that from you. Uh, Barry Goldwater changed that. Barry Goldwater said that <laughs> black people shouldn't get the right to vote. We should repeal the black people should get the right to vote. And he, he tried to stop every civil rights movement that ever walked. He, he was the he was what Mitch McConnell is today, Barry Goldwater. And that's what led the exodus of the black community from the Republican Party. When Barry Goldwater came and said, listen, black people should black people started thinking free and he was like, Nope, y'all should even we should repeal the we shouldn't even get them niggas the right to vote. And because he said that and tried to admit segregation. Black people left the Republican Party thanks to Barry Goldwater and his um and his author. So that's that's just your, that's just, just your history. Mm -hmm. So uh, so at least so this is what I'm telling you. But let me tell you something about Abraham Lincoln while we're here and the, and the why we all was Republicans. Um, Abraham Lincoln did not want to. I talked about this yesterday. Abraham Lincoln did not want to free the slaves. Abraham Lincoln cared less about slavery than anybody else. He only freed the slaves to punish the Southern states that succeeded the Union. That's the only reason he wanted to do. That's the only thing he freed the slavery for. Because he couldn't take nothing else from him. He said, you know what? I'm going to take slavery from you bitches. I'm going to show you. Don't you ever break away from the Union again. As you all know, the Southern states seceded from the Union. They started their own country called the Confederate States of America. That was the Southern states that seceded from the Union. And because they did, he said, I'm going to punish. When they did, we had a war. And it was the North versus the South. The North and the South went to war. The North won and the South surrendered and came back into the Union, which is called Reconstruction. During that time, Abraham Lincoln said there will be punishment because there were all American lives lost. And because of these lives lost, y'all are going to face some child consequences. And so the toughest consequence that he could ever do to them was take away slavery from them, which is basically the reason why they succeeded in the first place. So at the same time, that's, that's, I'm that's trying to make The so point when, I'm trying to make, these crackers so, don't give a fuck about us. So when the Reconstruction happened, it automatically made all black people Republican anyway because of that, that one thing. It just kind of automatically made it. So we were, re so listen, we were, so I want you to understand something, my baby, listen to me. We were Republican for nearly a hundred years, all black people for the most part, were Republican for a hundred years, based on just the fact that a Republican signed a law, an executive order that 
freed us for the, for the most part, which spearheaded the 13th Amendment. That wasn't by choice. That was, a, that was just because. So you can't yeah. say the, the first time... Somebody you, said I... Somebody said I Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Somebody said I didn't vote at all. I did vote. I vote she for the. Vote. I voted for myself. the uh, the senators and the congressmen in my goddamn community because that's the people that's going to affect me the most. Period. And that's very important. And Thank again, you for doing that. that's very important. Thank you for doing that. But I want to educate you on one more thing, my baby. So you say all black people are Democrats just because our grandmother was Democrat. But guess what our grandmothers and them was doing? They was going through civil rights at the time, and so they say, "Man, why was we part of this party?" that don't like us anyway when they try to stop us from having basic civil rights. And so listen, what I want to say is this. The first time when we had any intimation of a political party affiliation, that's when we were a part of them by just because. But when we became a political party by consciousness, when we had the decision to make, we as black people decided to leave the Republican Party and go to the Democratic Party. So what you're talking about is a moot situation. You're saying, I'm not going to be this here just because you act like I gotta, can't think about it. Yes, you can think about it. But I, have voted, I have voted Democrat all my time. I've been voting since 2000, since Al Gore ran. I've been voting goddamn Democrat for a, a goddamn while. But and I just don't fine. open my eyes to certain things. And so when you open your eyes to certain things, you will see that the first time black people thought for themselves and say, listen, why the fuck is we still Republicans when they obviously don't like us? When they obviously don't We ain't been Republicans in years, bro. So what you talking know? about? We ain't been huh? Republicans in, the, in years. We haven't been Republicans since the 60s, Mo. What is that? We ain't been Republicans since the 60s. Exactly. Huh? I wasn't born in the goddamn 60s. Shit. All right, so my, so my point is this. I'm like, look older you're, than you're, shit. You're, but I, ain't, I ain't born in the goddamn 60s. Bitch, but, but, your, your, but your point is that, your point is that we you saying we Republican, we're Democrat, like we're not thinking. But the first time that we thought about it, we said, hey, we need to be a part, at least a part of a political party that aligns with our ideology. So my point case, is, let people vote for who the fuck they want to vote for. That's the only thing I'm saying. You got the right to vote. It's white, it's white Democrats. And, 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 white, and white people that are Democrats ain't hating each other because they got them Democrats and everybody else is Republicans. Mm -hmm. They're not. I know. Why black so, people got this own people and goddamn cancel motherfuckers? Like, we always want to cancel people and bully don't people. Want to, I don't want to cancel you bully people. I just want to know why. I, I, didn't, I didn't try to cancel you or bully you. I should have. But um, I, I, I only asked you, why did you do it? And I, and I never got a clear understanding. I asked you, why did you do it? You said he did something for black people. And I don't know what that is. Maybe I, I didn't vote for Trump. Up. Look, I wrote my own name in. You heard me when I said that. I didn't Why vote for Trump, and I didn't vote for Biden because I don't like neither one of them goddamn crackers. Period. What's I don't think I, Biden was pandering like a motherfucker, and goddamn Trump be on that bullshit too. He think he a goddamn dictator. I don't fuck with none of them crackers. They was both born in the forties. Both of them motherfuckers don't give a fuck about black people at the end of the day. Goddamn Biden got Camilla, Kamala, at, uh, Kamala or whatever to make it seem like he uh, give a fuck about black people. That nigga don't give a, a fuck about black people. And then Kamala called his motherfucking ass a racist. But when she was running against his ass, now all of a sudden he the, he the best candidate. candidate. Come on now. that's a, It's all bullshit. That's all I'm saying. At the end of the day, it's all bullshit. You can vote for who you want to vote for. Essentially, you voted for yourself. What have you well, done? Neither, neither one of them crackers give a fuck about none of y'all black ass motherfuckers on this goddamn line. These them crackers do not give a fuck. So who did, you voted for yourself? What did you do for black people? I'm gonna be straight regardless. That's what I'm trying to say. That's my point. I'm gonna be straight. <laughs> I was straight when Bush was in office. I was straight when goddamn. Uh, 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 Trump be his first Trump term. I'm going to be straight. Whoever be the president, I'm going to be goddamn straight. That's the point I'm trying to goddamn make. Are president you, do don't have, make or break me. What? Do you have black friends? Or do you hang white people? Huh? You got black friends or you hang white people? No, nah, I got all black friends. Are they straight too? All them straight? All them straight. Yeah, all them like good like you? Or what? You say straight? Like you say you straight. You you like you good. You good. You good. You you make your you make your money. You good. You take care of your kids. I respect that. I do. I do. Yes. I'm trying to say, all, do all your friends have that, or, or do some of your friends need help every now and then? Or, or, a lot or, of people. I mean, I need help too. 
I need to help under Obama. A lot of my friends, no, they don't feel like me because I just I'm just on a different I'm just on a different wavelength than everybody else. Obviously. I voted for Hillary, I voted for Gore, I voted for Obama, I voted for all the Democrats all the time. But just now in the pandemic, like I'm just I'm just on a different level, shaky. Like honestly. I'm just I'm I'm just I'm not getting caught up in the elect, in, in electoral shit. Because that, that'll divide people, too. I agree with you. I agree. I agree. You know, sister, uh, you, know, you, you made some points. And, and some of my agree some of my don't. Uh, I appreciate you coming and sharing that. Uh, I hope that you win your election. Because uh, you're the only presidential candidate that I know for you. So I Biden know. go win. I already feel like Biden, <laughs> Biden go win. I know no. Biden go win because... <laughs> The analyst, it's an analyst that was uh he 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 predicted the um the candidate, the right candidate since like nineteen eighty four, and he predicted that Biden's gonna win. So I believe Biden's gonna win, but I'm be straight either no, I, way. But I don't know Biden personally, and I don't know Trump personally, obviously. So, but I know you, and I and I'm glad you. I know you were running. If I knew you were running, I would have thought. <laughs> Bitch, I, I ain't thought. got there running, but I'm just saying, all I did was <laughs> one of them goddamn crackers. You, you, you got at least one vote, sister. So, <laughs> that's all that matters. I didn't get that. I didn't get that one vote. But I didn't put my own name, and I should have put it in shit. So, um, so um, I, hope, I hope you, I hope you, you know, good luck to you and your campaign. You hear me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, I love you, Shaky. And fuck them niggas in y'all goddamn comments with y'all ugly asses. Y'all ain't got no goddamn money. Y'all motherfucking robots. Y'all can clown me all I motherfucking want to, but I still got my money. Period, bitch. Girl. I hope she went up. I hope she went up for a fuck campaign. I ain't get, she got more votes than me, y'all. Shit. She got more votes than me for president, bitch. <laughs> so what can we do? I, she, she can talk what she know. She, what's going on, BC, sister? We just got out the last presidential candidate. <laughs> throw me in the garbage. <laughs> Pick me up and throw me in the trash. Yeah. After, after. Am I the only one that's flabbergasted? I, I tried to stick with the... I tried to stick with it. <laughs> and I felt like I was going round and round the circus to baby girl. <laughs> she didn't answer none of your questions. I didn't have but one. What the Trump do for black people? No, you asked her what has she done for black people. <laughs> I did, she, I did. She, she said she got a vote. <laughs> what did Trump do for black people? <laughs> and her answer to what Trump done for black people was at the end of the day, I'm straight. <laughs> That's okay. I respect that. Whatever that means. Let me tell you something. Take it. I, I'm I'm sitting in a nice, decent house, and I'm sitting in a nice car. Yeah. But the presidential election that I go vote for is not about me. Right. It's about the United States, which includes more than me. Right. Exactly. So when I see a candidate that can sit on national TV and have something to say against raising minimum wage, I got a problem, even though I don't make minimum wage. Right. Because it ain't about me. Help me understand when you go vote for a president, that means the president got to be the president to Christians, Muslims, gays, straight, blacks, white. So I can't just sit up and say, oh, I'm straight. Because I didn't know we was only voting for you. I, I, I thought we was voting for the 16-year-old girl that's going to get pregnant and don't have nowhere to go. Or the mama that's struggling to get uh, pay her rent and pay her bills. I thought we were voting for a country where everybody could comfortably provide for themselves. Make right. it make sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. When a president can sit up there and say that he all right with minimum wage not being $15 an hour when $15 an hour ain't enough money to survive off right now. At all. So when you can sit on a debate and say it should be up to the state, how how can anybody right now making twelve ten dollars an hour comfortably provide? Okay, then she got me when she said that uh, we as people are pushed to vote Democrat. No, it sounds like you've been pushed your whole life to vote Democrat, and you finally thinking different from your grandma and them. 
And now you went and just voted for the other side because you was tired of just following what somebody told you to follow right. instead of studying it for yourself. Right. Because she clearly said she rather vote for somebody who let me know they are racist. Then then to pretend like they not want it, play in my face. Well, guess what? Every racist I know better act like they not want it. Because you're not about to be an open racist in my face. Right. And right. get my vote. You better respect my mind and shut that shit down. Oh, okay. I'm not about to come in your store with my and see, yes, I would like that jacket off the wall and you tell me, well, I really don't like black people, but what's your size? <laughs> and I'm still going to buy the damn <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, I thank you for telling me. I thank you for telling me. Here's my money. No, man. But you better Yes, me. my money is different black as me. But you better respect me like Kenneth O'Neill. That's all I know. If you're a racist, you better respect me like Kenneth O'Neill. That's all I know what you, what you better do. Then what else she said was, you don't see the Republican Party bullying their people to vote Republican. What world does she live in? That is bullying on every side. Every side. Have you ever asked yourself why majority of Republicans are white? Have you ever stopped to ask yourself that? One thing that white people hate more than niggas is nigga lovers. Ooh. Yeah. That's the word. They hate that more. Yep, you're right. They what do they hate more, more, more than niggas is nigga lovers? And if you even oh. remotely think you're going to go against them, they don't just hate you, they disown you. Yeah. They disown you. Right. <laughs> They 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 want they don't just want you to know they hate you, they want your job, they want your pension. See, when when white people in power come for you, they come for you to, to, to shut your whole life down when you don't agree with them. Right. In order for us as people to make a difference, we gotta think beyond us. Because if we don't think beyond us. It's just gonna be about us. Let me I can't be all right with just being straight as she said my neighbor stuck in the field. If that's gonna do feel then we're gonna stay stuck in the Right. But too many people come to us say at the end of the day, I'm a husband, so I'm gonna make it. Well, I'm sorry, the lady next door who got cancer and her son just got killed and she gotta work two jobs to put groceries on the table ain't like this. So if you only both to care about you, then what the hell you even are American for? Because I thought Americans and people was about looking out to each other to make sure each other can make it. Ooh. So I'm trying, I, I was really listening to see where she was coming from. I don't know where Because if you vote for a person based upon your life being straight and you say you're going to be straight and going to do something, be voting. Well, I'm trying to she, But she said it helped her when she was in the military. The black lives, white lives, every lives lost because this Driving y'all, y'all know when we get on here. 
I know, but you, it's like we could tell you ran away. <laughs> I'm not doing this with you. I we get on this phone. This thing break up. All I'm saying is make it make it. If you in the military, if you think I'm. You hear me now? Yeah. All right. Yeah, everything is. I said it's super misguided. I pray that she she's probably misguided and she has kids. And so these kids are getting misguided. And so my prayer is for the kids because this sister is not looking at this in totality. And that scares me. It really does. But what scares me is that she wasn't listening for information. Let me tell you something that people gotta do. We gotta be, we gotta stop being so emotional and so excited that when we have an intellectual conversation that she said, we close the information. Because one thing you did was drop knowledge and bombs on her, and she actually blocked you out. I don't think she realized she blocked you out. She blocked you out and then she bust out at the end of the day. Information that he's going to take the body switch for the public and the Democrats. You need to take that information. And that's why it was so easy for you to come around and jump on the top of it and be like, hey, did you know what was going on on the road? Did you know he was taking a stand or did you read the comments? Right. I think she was so in tune with the comments. She was really in tune with the comments. Real good. She was listening to defend, not to. She was listening to. To respond, not to understand, and a lot of people do that. A lot of people really don't understand. They just don't understand. You know, so it, it's more so. I'm not on here to have a conversation to learn anything or teach anything. I'm on here to just say, she's, she's, um, to simply say what I gotta say. And she, like she said, we can disagree. That's why right, we can disagree on opinion. But when you start dropping facts, just say, hey, I didn't know that. It ain't nothing wrong with saying, hey, I didn't know that. Let me go look that up, shaking. You might have a point. That's how you learn. And I still don't know what she said Trump did for black people yet. I still want to know that. Like, she didn't answer. If I missed up. I, I she, she didn't answer. Yeah. The plan, the plan. I agree with her. I agree with her when she said that give people a right to vote for who they want to vote for. I, I'm all for that. Everybody have the right for who they want to vote for. What I'm saying is what she missed was when she was putting on black people, saying black people bully people into voting for who they want them to vote for as if they don't go on on both sides. And people don't try to push their agenda. Why do you think politics and religion is two things that people are talking about? It's because people try to push their agenda on the it's just this black thing. It's just black people. Most times, black people are pushing the agenda. It's so we're trying to get us to stick together. We're trying to get us to get on one accord so we can get things done for all of us. Not just you, middle class, and not just, you know, the poor black people. Because she said Democrats said it to the poor black people. And why are you saying those Republicans are rich? What? Who do you think they came to? What? They say they can't hear me. I don't know, Shake. I can't hear you, but they say they can't hear me. I ain't saying that. I, I ain't saying that. No, I said when you talk, I can hear you too. And when I talk, you know, we can hear each other, but I read the comments and they can't hear me. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm, I don't know, Shake. All I, all I said was, I'm glad that you dropped knowledge over opinion. Right. Knowledge over opinion. Everybody can have their opinion, which means. Everybody can say what they want to say. I force but, an, I force an opinion. See, I, I think she didn't understand. Like, she has an opinion, and you're entitled to it. But I was like, well, I force an opinion. She's like, my opinion, like, is not her opinion. But I said, well, my opinion is forged on these facts. Please let me know what your opinion is forged on. Right. And then maybe I can get a different understanding because I might be missing something. If I'm missing something, I want to. I want to get it for it. If Trump did stuff for black people, passed the law, something that said all black people get their reparations, they fought the acres in a move mule or whatever it is. And I would be all for that, you know. I would be for that, but I've never. So I was. I wanted to see what her opinion was forced on. My opinion is forced on these things that I know. To be fact, people people force their opinions on feelings and not facts. Oh, that's not good. That's not. Good. People build their opinions on feelings and not facts, and so that's why people, when you hear them talk, they say, uh, "Well, I feel like." I ask you what you feel like. You can feel like it's rain, uh, sunny outside, but it's raining, baby. You might feel like it. 
But the, what is the fault over your feeling? And a lot of people don't like to change what they have stuck to. They don't like change. So they embrace a feeling and omit facts because they want to stay where they are. Right. I got so many things. Guess what, second? I used to be stuck on, oh, baby, because this, this, and this. And then a person that come up with me, but look at this. Look at this. And when they sit up in there and they show me, I'm like, man, you right, bro. Now, guess what? I, I need to re, re change how I think and how I feel about this because I got this Information now, so now I can expand my way of thinking. Yeah. And guess what? I'm middle class. <laughs> right. I, I I love it. I think I love that because this is what I think. I love that she came here. I love that she came with that because I was able to see like it's hard, like you know I haven't really had a, a conversation with a Trump supporter yet to find out what was going on, especially a black Trump supporter. So I'm not saying that that was her, but I'm saying that was the closest I've ever come to. And I like to see, I wanted to see it and delve into their mind. And I think you hit the nail on the head when you say her, their opinions be based on feelings and not fact. And I think that's what all Trump supporters, they feeling. I think they just feel like they don't want to be proven wrong with Trump. They both but it don't Trump. sound like she had anything to this one, I guess I, I had an issue with. And she would have dropped some knowledge that I could have go looked up and say, hey, this is good, you know, I let me go look this up. She never answered the question to even give me nothing right. to go research. You see what I'm saying? That's why I kind of was over the conversation. You went to drop the why you say Democrats is this. So I was trying to feel like why she dropping uh, information about Republicans with no facts for nobody. So what got me was, it really sounds like she is just going on the other side just because she felt like she was pushed to go on the Democratic side for so long. That's why she kept we were pushed to we were pushed to go Democrat. Why why all uh, black people push it and bully your to go Democrat? She's like, I open my eyes. And we like open our eyes to go. What did you learn new that made you go on the other side? So we could go read and study what you what you play read. And you couldn't give us nothing. Um, I don't think she did nothing. I I I pray for her children because I pray for all kids, but I pray for hers tonight that they be guided correctly into whatever it is that they need to they grow up into their political ideology. Uh, I have my reasons for not liking Trump, and I do like some Demo I do like some Republican candidates. I, at first, I was really against abortion at one time in my life. I read, when I first registered to vote, I registered the Republican. Uh, I changed the Democrat like a month later. <laughs> but uh, uh, I did register initially register as a Republican. But at the same time, I um I I I because I, I was very much against abortion. But then I had to be enlightened. I had to understand. Big speakers is not my place in life to tell you what to do with your body or your child or whatever. That's between you and your God, and that between you, God, and your baby daddy or whomever and your spiritual advisors or whatever it may be. It's not my place to be able to, I shouldn't even have an opinion about what you do with your life. And so, you know, you know I, but I, this is the thing, Shaky. you can have an opinion about what somebody doing with their life, but your, it shouldn't be, they, life shouldn't be dictated on your opinion. You right. can have that. You could be against it all you want. I could be against it all I want, but that don't mean I should have, my opinion should be a law for what you want to do. My you see what I'm saying? A, exactly. My opinion should be a law for what you want to do, and I hate that. And, I, and so as far as also coming to my sexuality, and I don't think marriage is right for me, in my opinion. My, I don't I think marriage is for a man and a woman. Uh, but it's also not my place to tell these two punks what they could do in their house. If y'all want to get married, call yourself married. Why, why are my family to have an opinion about that? And so that's what I'm for, all these things. I'm for people doing whatever the hell they want to do with their life. You know, it's supposed to be freedom. I shouldn't be able to tell you that my, my vote shouldn't it, be But guess what? That contradicts other laws. You see what I'm saying? Because once you say you have a, a right to a free religion, free speech, but then you make laws against it. So it's like either I have a right to what I want to do, I don't. You see what I'm saying? Definitely. So it's like you 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 put in the battlefield. I, I feel like this. This is me shaking. This is how I look at life. Good. I look at life as if life don't only affect me. My experience is not the only thing that life has to offer. And if I look at life only through my experiences, the only thing and the only thing the information I will ever have is my experiences. I had to tell somebody this on my live one day. I was talking about something about how men do with their children. And one of my women asked me, that's not true because my baby daddy X, Y, and Z. Just because 
it's not true for you don't mean it's not true. You only look at life through your experiences so you can please it block out any other information because all you see is yourself. But I'm sorry, when I look at a 17-year-old boy that's out of control, I see my son even though it may not be my son. Right. And that's what makes me make the decision beyond me. Right. If you don't learn to make the decision beyond you when it comes down to laws, I'm not talking about opinions. I'm talking about laws like murder. That stuff don't just affect you. What you do with your body and what you do in your home, that's your life. You got to learn to separate the two. And if you don't put somebody in leadership who know how to separate the two, we're not going to have rights to our, to nothing. We never have rights to nothing. I agree. You know, and, and she said something that's very key because you know I'm a big, big pusher on local government. Right, I like it. I'm big, I'm big on local government, but I that doesn't mean that I ignore the federal government. Because guess what? They got federal laws I need to abide by, just like local laws I need to abide by. A lot of the money for your school systems comes from the federal government, so you need to know what funds are being released to your state, to your area. Why people think? When people say, oh, Biden or Trump, let's just use, for example, is having a $5 billion plan for black people. That means that's going to be distributed to each state. Right. That's why it's important. It's going to come to your state. It's so you need to know what type of, type of advocates and uh, money or whatever they got coming to your local government. So come on, y'all. Let's just make it make sense, sis. You know, I ain't here to bash you. You know, I ain't for the talking about you know it, it's Sip Nation to tell you up on their own. I, I you know, that's their thing. Oh, they they had started already. They was gonna tell anyway. They she knew she knew that coming here though. She was Oh, they got the I they love me to death and I felt the way I for Kyle plenty of days. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh so listen, y'all. I, I, I just I just want her to drop some knowledge. You know, don't just come here when we talk about something as serious as this in a state where people are high in anxiety. When she said she voted Democrat and she finally voted for Republican because of the pandemic, the pandemic happened under Republican. Make it make sense. The pandemic happened under this man. No, she, said she, she, didn't, she didn't say she voted for Trump. She voted for herself. She, she didn't want to say that. She voted herself. Yeah, she voted. She voted herself <laughs> Which you know who she voted? She one of them that voted for Kanye. I'm convinced. <laughs> Girl, no, she, I'm, I'm convinced she voted for her. And that's why I say that's the presidential candidate. If I do, she got more votes than me. Oh, she she was on the ballot? <laughs> no, she wrote herself in. She went on the ballot. But she Bye. Gets, but she gets, <laughs> she's going to get a vote. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Look, we going to say bye, Robin. Hey, the dog. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, going, y'all. All right, B Speaks. Love you. <laughs> that was B Speaks. Make sure y'all follow her at B W B E E underscore Speaks underscore. Y'all make sure y'all follow her. All right, y'all. I'm at the house, so I'm going to call y'all. Let me go ahead and get situated, get buck naked, and I'm going to call y'all later. I love y'all. I love y'all. <laughs>